Right, we've had our hands on, we've had our interview, and we're back full of opinions. Opinions, Martin. Uh, I have lots of opinions. Uh, where to start? Okay, this game is alive. It's so cool. So I, the thing that I like most about it, I looked at it and I went, hold on a second, the, the frame rate's suddenly like really high. <laughs> it's so crisp. Mm. Like it looks amazing. Really vibrant, really colorful. That's it. I love it. The animations are solid as well. We've never really seen Pokemon move in this way. It's always been like a static and then it goes, eh. like, it sort of just moves upwards and right a couple of pixels. But now like the Pokemon are like doing backflips and spinning and just like firing stuff out. It just, it's the energy. It makes you really excited to yeah, battle yeah, again. Yeah. And the soundtracking just keeps that energy completely going as well. It's amazing. Mm. The thing that I love as well was um, you were part of a unit. So I totally didn't expect that because you're used to just setting out, going out on your own. That's it. You meet up with your friends once in a while. But we, so we were literally just dropped in. So we, we didn't start from the right at the beginning. We were given a save where we were literally just heading out. And um, we went through this wooded area with like just a pack of about five of us, I think it was. So yeah. yeah. It was really cool. So there's five of you, like one's on rollerblades, one's there trying to heal you. Another one is kind of like the gangster of the group yeah, almost. Yeah. He's got this he was big dancing. Golden, he's got this big golden chain and everything. In. And, uh, and yeah, you kind of not only get to see how you experience the game, but you get to see how they get to experience it as well. So I noticed at one point, the guy with the chain was walking around and suddenly a trainer came from the right and was like, hey, I'm going to yeah. battle you. And it's like, what do, what do you mean you're going to battle? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, do that because then I can just walk past. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I was like, a zoop. Yeah, it, straight it was back. brilliant. So you went straight for the gym leader. I um, procrastinated a little bit because I was got uh, distracted by Pokemon and me, which is the new sort of like, almost like the Tamagotchi, do you remember when you had like the Pikachu Go and all yeah. that? It was weird. I, I did Pokemon and me wrong to begin with. I was getting the nice little cupcakes and I was like clicking them and dragging them out and then letting go and they fell on the floor. <laughs> and Fennekin was like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. And I was like, I'm hungry. I was like, oh, what am I, you want me to hold it? Okay. And then I had to hold it until Fennekin ate it out of my hands, yeah. which admittedly was pretty damn adorable. Yeah. This, this guy over here. Oh, yeah. girl. I, well, I, I took a uh, chest bin over here. Um, so I normally go for fire types. So it was weird starting with a grass type, but loved it. Um, but yeah, Pokemon me. So you're essentially looking after your Pokemon, like little pets. You feed them treats, you play with them, you give them little belly rubs until oh. they're all happy. It's so cute. The mini games are really fun as well. Yeah. So I played um, Berry Picker, Is where you had you to... Got you got like three berries across the top, yeah, three to... Pokemon from your party across the bottom. And then you basically, they pop up on like the right hand side of the screen and say, I want the purple one, which is all the way over here. And the kind of thing, the idea is, is that you're just instantly going to want to drag downwards. Mm. Uh, and yeah, it kind of goes from there. But there's there's those ones which are kind of more like mini gamey. And then there's ones that are actually quite difficult. Like, you know, the ones where you go around and you shoot things out and stuff. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get that one. Oh. I got the tile swap one. So it was like a puzzle piece where it, the, all the puzzle pieces were mixed up. You had to swap them around and make the puzzle whole. But the thing was, it was like a proper kind of moving picture. So my Pokemon were moving around while I was trying to organize it. I was like, guys, what you did? Could you just stand still while I try? Like, seriously, could you make this any harder? But it was a lot of fun. That's so, really and cool. um, if you if you do loads of Pokemon and me stuff, um, you'll unlock things with your Pokemon, so they can have a higher chance of avoiding attacks. You know, um, they can be stronger. It increases all their base statistics, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it increases attack, defense, evasion, uh, special attack, special defense. Uh, all of those are encompassed in this. So you are rewarded for uh, what will probably be this time sink. <laughs> And um, I think for me though, what I really, really loved was the detail all around, like everywhere. There was such good detail. Um, like just even going to the Pokemon Center and healing my Pokemon, all the Pokemon that were in my Pokeballs appeared up on the screen, like just floating around. And I was like, whoa, yeah. that's so cool. It's so good. It's really, really cool. And like really tiny details as well. Like when you sit down at a calf, so like the first city that you approach um, is very sort of like Parisian. It's nice little coffee shops, that kind of thing. And there's benches and, you know, little chairs and tables everywhere and you can literally sit in there but I had a little bit too much fun getting it on the chair and then getting <laughs> off because he doesn't get on it like a normal person he'll walk up to it and do this 90 degree turn and a 90 degree turn and go off so he's just he's just constantly doing like this thing and I was just like sat there for about five minutes making him do this wow so Martin there professional gamer entertained by chair sitting that's why I do the the Mart Pressions videos because yeah. everyone cares what I have to say about games. Mm. So, Pokemon XY Game of the Year because of the chair sitting. Cheers. <laughs> We've wanted musical cheers in a digital form for years, <laughs> and now we have it. Mm. Well, so as you can see, we are so excited by Pokemon XY. It is out now, um, and we're both going to be playing it. Um, what are you going to get, X or Y? Pokemon X. Mm. I don't like the, the, the Pokemon on Y. It looks a bit like a Lugia wannabe. <laughs> He's just trying too hard. Kind of the reason I went for X as well is because if you've seen the movie Princess Mononoke, oh, yeah, yeah. the forest spirit 
kind of like the X oh one. Oh my god, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, maybe I'm gonna have to get X. <gasps> Mm, dun, dun, dun. Anyway, um, so Martin and I will probably be giving out our friend code, so maybe we will see you guys in the battlefield. Uh, you know, bring your fiercest mons. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna head back to the UK now, and uh, farewell. Farewell. This is me flying home. <laughs> <laughs>